Hello, I saw this Helix animation and I had to check the code. And surprisingly, even though Helix is a 3D object, so you'd expect those dots to be moving in 3D, the animation is actually only using 2D transforms, so it's moving those dots back and forth and scaling them. And in order to deal with the order changes along the third axis, it's using a second set of keyframes. So yeah, that's pretty complicated for something that looks so simple. So what I'll be showing you in today's video is how to do this in a much simpler manner. So uh, we'll also be using half the number of elements. So uh, just uh, 36, uh, there were 72 originally. So here we have a loop. So um, 4, 5, starting from 0, going all the way up to n, incremented. And then we have a rotating thing. So on uh, star. Here we need to set the custom property, which is something like progress thingy, something. Um, so it's i over n. And we don't want a lot of decimals, so uh, let's fix that to 5. And we don't want needless decimals. So let's see what we have right now. Compiled HTML looks good. Let's move on to the CSS. We won't be having any JS. We decide upon a dot radius. Let's say something like this um, and then we move on to the rotating things and we have before um, after uh, set position absolute set padding dot radius uh, set a background oh sorry and also set a content uh, so you can see something okay now border radius 50% so it's not round now let's place everything in the middle so we have body um, display grid place uh, content center um, background say something like a sky blue something okay awesome margin zero make this full height okay this okay now let's also set position absolute here set a transform rotate um, and here we use that progress so uh, we do a distribution along the circle turn um, Okay, I need to fix a little thing here. So margin, some minus dot radius. So it's right in the middle. Okay, uh, now we have translate. Along the X or Y axis, it doesn't really matter as long as we do the um, actual rotation in 3D along the other axis, around the other axis, X in this case. If we did um, translate X here, it would have been a around the y-axis. So yeah, those two axes have to be different, that's all. Um, and here we'll be using like a ring radius. And let's, actually, we don't need that a second time, so let's just do it. Okay, um, this looks good. Now, a few more, oops, a few more things. Let's ensure Transform style preserve 3D, so we actually have 3D. Now, keyframes. Um, also, let's set perspective. Now, something um, in the translation along the third axis. So. this. Um, okay. Now here, 0%, um, I have transform um, perspective, uh, rotate x, 0 degrees, and um, yeah, I, I can't really select stuff, obviously. Okay, 
Now just to copy paste this and for the final keyframe we have 100% and this is going to be one turn and here it's going to be uh, with minus 0 and minus 0 are the same and here let's have animation this is going to be um, that linear infinite okay this doesn't look like anything yet let's not just uh, set an i which is initially zero and this is like a switch okay what uh yeah i need to also set an animation duration two seconds okay um let's set here an hsl this is a uh, zero hue the zero of saturation as for the lightness we have calc uh, that switch i times 100 percent and on the after we switch i to one okay now here we also use um 0.5 times i times minus that animation duration and we also want a second component to our delay and this is going to depend on that progress around the ring so plus because we want six loops that's why i said six okay so yeah this looks pretty good actually um it's not that different um this blue looks a lot nicer so i'll just uh, be copy pasting that but other than that is i can um make it a bit more 3d like this but uh, other than this there's not much else uh, i'll be doing now Actually, I won't be doing anything else. I'll just leave it like this because I won't be wasting your time just tweaking just one more pixel, one less pixel and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work. You can do this by getting me a gift off my Amazon wishlist. There are links in the description below. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.